We live in a world where trends come and go, whether it's fashion trends from Nike Tech to putting bows in our hair, or toy trends from Mr. Potato Head to fidget spinners. However, there's one trend that never went out of style. Not a trend, but more a lifestyle. An iconic, culturally significant piece of art that has impacted us since 1959 and will forever continue to change society. In case you haven't guessed what I'm talking about yet, I'm talking about none other than the Barbie franchise. From dolls to a live action movie, Barbie gave us everything. She gave us laughter while playing with the dolls as kids, and she gave us tears while watching the movie as teenagers and adults. She gave women hopes and dreams, she gave us choices, and of course, she gave us the color pink. Hello everyone, today I'm here to discuss the important impact Barbie has had on our society. Barbie has encouraged kids to be ambitious and dream big by exposing them to a variety of career paths, letting them know that anything is possible. Barbie has also increased conversations on feminism and challenges gender roles today. But not only has Barbie impacted women, but Barbie has also raised awareness on the effects toxic masculinity and the patriarchy have on men. Let's begin with how Barbie has always been our number one cheerleader when it came to big dreams. Barbie is more than a doll with a great sense of fashion. Barbie has broken gender stereotypes by telling girls they can be whatever they wish to be with their famous slogan, you can be anything. The toys have become role models for young girls, inspiring them to dream beyond traditional roles. For example, Mattel has created over 200 career Barbies, including Chef Barbie, Dentist Barbie, and Entrepreneur Barbie. Not only that, but Mattel also includes careers traditionally held by men, such as Pilot Barbie and Firefighter Barbie, to really show girls that they can work in male-dominant fields too. According to a blog by Sammy Rabbit, encouraging your kids to dream big allows them to believe in themselves and their abilities to get things done, paving the way for a brighter and better future. In addition, Barbie has increased talk on feminism and challenges gender roles today. Many people may argue that Barbie is in fact not a feminist, but I disagree. I believe Barbie's evolution represents how far women have come. I see her as a symbol of perseverance and independence. Back in 1959, when Barbie was first created, she was the first doll to show children the idea of a grown woman without being associated with motherhood, childcare, and household chores. Instead, she embodied the idea that us women can have hopes and dreams. In the live action movie, America Ferreira's character Gloria delivers an incredible monologue highlighting the struggles of being a woman in present day society, which earned a well deserved round of applause. Here's an excerpt of her speech highlighting some double standards women face every day. You have to answer for men's bad behavior, which is insane, but if you point that out, you're accused of complaining. You're supposed to stay pretty for men, but not too pretty that you tap them too much or that you threaten other women because you're supposed to be part of the sisterhood. Now, however, a common misconception of feminism is that it's anti-men, when that is not the case. Feminism believes in gender equality, meaning both genders are given the same opportunities and respect, which is what Barbie has always encouraged. Ruth Handler, creator of Barbie, said that, My whole philosophy of Barbie was that through the doll, the girl could be anything she wanted to be. Barbie always represented the fact that a woman had choices. Feminism affects everyone as it is a commitment to everyone. And lastly, besides the increased talk on feminism, Barbie also acknowledges the effects the patriarchy and toxic masculinity have on men. If you watched the Barbie movie and understood that men are useless and dumb, then you completely missed the point of it. The patriarchy is a system in society where men hold more power than women, and the Barbie movie showed us that this is something that affects men too. In the film, Ryan Gosling's character played a crucial part in the understanding of the patriarchy. His character never felt like he was enough, or as Ken would say, Ken of. So when he went to the real world and learned all about the patriarchy, he decided to turn Barbie land into Kendom, thinking that it would solve everything. He thought if he turned Barbie's dream house into Ken's Mojo Dojo Castle House, that would give him the satisfaction and self-worth he's been longing for. But it didn't give him that. Ken lost sight of who he was and it pinned all the Kens against each other, making conflicts, and most importantly, it made the Kens feel like vulnerability was a weakness and sporting a facade to look more manly was a strength. Ken didn't like the matriarchy at the beginning of the film, but the patriarchy wasn't any better. We learned by the end that the real solution was a world where nor Ken or Barbie ruled the land. A world where both genders could exist and be treated fairly. 
To conclude, Barbie is much more than a movie about a doll, despite what Joe Coy says. Barbie dolls have inspired kids since 1959, have increased discussions on feminism, and raised awareness about the toxicity of the patriarchy. The Barbie franchise has very much played an important role in society for decades and will continue to change the world we live in. Barbie is a piece of history. She's associated with childhood memory. She's a role model who girls look up to. She is the voice some of us are still trying to find. She reflects determination, she reflects hope, but most importantly, she reflects each and every one of us and our big ambitions. So next time you think about uttering the word Barbie, I hope you say her name with a little more respect. <laughs>